hello guys today in this video you will learn how we can use styles in angular and how we can manipulate the design in angular so to do that yeah that this is the same video from where uh, i had left so before proceeding i would like to subscribe i would like to ask you guys to subscribe if you are if you have not done that so now let's go ahead and first of all i would delete all those things like i would delete the, all the pipes from here okay and now after delete, deleting all those pipes i will also remove it from here okay and i will also remove it from here okay so now i will save it and i need to i will work with this style so here you can see this is the style component so here i will i mean css class this is the app component.css class so this css class is inside this app module you can see this is the complete app folder that means it is the app module and here i am going to suppose uh, create a CSS class like red color okay and here I will going to give it a color it's red okay and now the same color I am going to use here so let me also remove these things from here all the pipes will be removed from here as well okay and now I will create one uh, h2 tag and here I will use class and here I will give it a red color and inside this I am going to put a text red color okay hmm, and then yeah, let me check it here uh, in the css file so this is the same okay let me save this as well and also double check and save this as well and now i will run it by using npm start and now it is generating then you can see it is running at localhost 4200 so i will go in the browser and here I will type localhost 4200 and you can see now red color is coming as expected okay so now the same thing we can define instead of here let me just copy this complete class or let me cut it from here and I will now you can see I have saved this and it is in the normal red color I mean black color as a normal text and here it is style.css file so this is the root style class I mean style CSS file so here again we can implement it the same thing and we can save it and we can see uh, now red color is coming here okay and now uh, let's so these two things you can define the i mean color so if you want to have it in all your components suppose the same thing you want it in the login okay here in the login suppose you want this counter as red color so here you can use class and here you can use uh, red color uh, okay and i will save it and let's go to login and you can see counter is coming as red color okay so now suppose that means we can use i mean if by defining here in index.html file we can use i mean sorry not in index in style.css file we can use this red color at many places okay means it at any component at any i mean html file in in any component we can use it but suppose the same thing i am going to uh, 
used in app component of CSS. So let me put it here, not like this. Okay, and here I will change it to green instead of red. And you can see class name is same. Okay, so now we'll check this app component.html. So let me click on home. Okay, and now you can see here it is coming red color, but it is coming in the green instead of red. And why is that? Because now the in this one like this is this app dot component or CSS class is like inside this we have written red color and in this uh, style dot CSS also we have the same class with the name red color but this global file will be overrided by this component which is I mean component CSS file because uh, this is having the high priority than this external I mean style dot CSS file that's why this red color have overrided uh, it inside the app component.html file okay but suppose here again I am going to create one style here okay and here I am going to put it as like this and instead of red I am going to put it as brown okay and now I will save it okay but still class is same so now let's see you can see now it is having the high priority that means it upon it depends on the priority so now this red color is over has overrided this app component dot css class okay i mean this red color is, is i mean have, having the less priority than this red color class that's why we can see the brown color is coming here okay and now the next thing we can also define the color as like this as in inline style so here I will define a style and I will define the color and inside this I will, I will define uh, violet ok let's check now now it's not still I mean it's not taken it so let me now remove this I mean Mm. Well, let me just keep it red not the wallet was I think the spelling was not correct that's why okay now you can see again red color is coming so you can see here uh, this internal style is I mean also overrided by this inline style okay so suppose I am going it to make it edge mm. as yellow color okay so now you can see it is coming as yellow it is very less visible so let me make it something else hmm. let me make it as a blue color okay i will save it and now you can see it is coming as blue color so why that is because uh, it all depends on the priority so whenever you are going to put some style in the tag then it will give priority to the first priority it will give the inline style then second priority it will give the in the same file what we have defined the style okay and make sure you are having the same class name okay I mean for this in inline I mean in the HTML file what we are defining inside the style tag and we are having the same class name here again with the green and we are having the same class name here in the style.css file so all these things will be will have the less part the, the very less priority will have on the style.css file then at the second number it will be the second last priority okay and then in the html file this red color class will be the third last priority and the first priority it will give to the style attribute in which we are defining the color okay so for better uh, uh, for better like uh, workflow what we need to do uh, always keep the CSS class separated so for example I want to use the 
I mean define some class in the login so if I don't want to have or inherit the same thing then never define anything inside the style.css file with you what you don't want to use in login okay so whatever you want to use only in login then that those class make sure to use here okay so for example you can do a header color okay or okay so now you can see color you can be like uh, indigo okay I will save it and this head color I will copy from here and I will define it in the here in the heading tag okay okay mm, just a minute let me copy this again okay I will save it okay and now let's click on login component to see the change and you can see this is indigo color which is coming okay so this is not overriding with anything because we have the directly I mean accessing it directly from this CSS class directly getting accessed inside this login component.html file so this is the basic thing what you need to keep in mind whenever you are going to use a style in the angular okay so you saw here inline template okay inline template that means uh, the next thing we will see how we can use the inline template but this thing I have already discussed so let me go ahead in the app component .css, CS file so for example for inline template suppose I don't have want to use this app component .css class okay so then how can we use the uh, I mean a style so here you can see we have the style URL and inside what we can do instead of using this CSS okay we can simply start using uh, we can simply start using like this let me put it here head color okay I will remove this one I will also remove this one I will also remove this one and I will also remove this one okay so this will be like this actually we need to put here styles and here inside it we need to put it like this and here we can define the head color we can define we can define the color let me save this change and let's see if we can see it I mean if you can see it here let me first copy it from here add color and I will put it here in HTML 
and I will also remove style from here I will save it and I will check um, let me click on home and you can see it is coming as red here so let me uh, go again and see if it is red here yeah. let me put it as blue and save and you can see it is coming here is blue color so you can see this like this we can also define the style but this is called in inline style template okay so about this i have already discussed in earlier videos okay but this is just uh, for the for like uh, doing the less work related to style then you can use this otherwise i would uh, prefer you to go ahead with the template file okay like this as it was earlier okay so use any your css style inside this css file which is this one okay and then use that in the html file to use that okay so i hope guys you got some idea about the styling here okay so external css file was two things here you you saw i mean in the, in the external this is the one this one will be called as external css which is the root css this is also you can say external okay and inline style watch this one was the inline style uh, what we had done here uh, let me do it again yeah this one this one will be called inline style because we are defining the style in the same line okay and next thing is internal style inside time html template that this is that one like this okay so uh, so that is all guys in this video so if you have any comment and session please feel free to write in the comment section i will be that will be very, really good for me to improve my video okay so that is all thanks guys thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you